Hey guys, so a subscriber sent this link to me uh, for this Russian painting and said, Hey Brandon, can you kind of break down what's going on in this painting and, and why I like it so much? What's going on with the colors and, and the waves here? And how did they get this uh, transparent kind of look? And, and just break down the painting. So that's kind of what I'm going to do here. Uh, just give you a few things, show you a few things going on. So let's get into it here. Um, it's a Russian painting from 1892, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure the artist. Um, but first thing I notice is the color scheme. And that, that's what I have laid out here. I, I did this. I just kind of sampled some, some colors here and laid them out over here. So these, these are the main colors of the scene and you can see they're all very neutral they're not very if you take a look at this little square over here of color in the top right um, they're very neutral so when I sample all these colors they're gonna be in the mid range some of the darker ones will be off to the side um, and lighter ones but see the yellow and the blue are, are dead center almost in this little color block and what that is, 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 you know, if you move the color all the way to the right, uh, it's full saturation. So let me show you a few things here that if I was to take this really light blue, fully saturated, and add this into the painting somewhere, you can see that it really shouts compared to the rest of the painting. Um, so right away, you can see that all the colors here that are used are very neutral. Now, I don't know how well of a reproduction or a photo this is of the artwork there are some warm tones here in, in the water and on the edges so I don't know if, if that was actually intended by the artist or if that's just old and the paintings breaking down etc um, but I'm just gonna go off of this photo it looks very neutral maybe it's a little more saturated in, in person uh, and when the artist first painted it but the colors here now are very neutral and you can tell when I add in like a really bright blue um, you know when you knock it down a little bit it gets a little bit better but the darker I get then it starts getting really close but you can tell it's still fully saturated so what does that mean well it means they used very neutral tones so this yellow here if I if I brought in a real strong yellow Oops. I mean, you can just see how much... It didn't really use any saturated tones in this painting at, at all. So, how do you mix neutral tones? Well, to get a neutral tone like, like this, more neutralized, you can see it's almost the same color as the... Uh, as the sails there. Uh, you have to mix complements. So, you have to know basic color theory and that's why I recommend beginners and people that aren't used to color mixing uh, use a, a primary limited palette of red, yellow, and blue or something like that and uh, learn to mix colors. So mixing complements, so with this yellow to get this really neutral toned down yellow you're gonna have to mix some purple into it and purple is just red and blue and to get a neutral blue like this, you're going to have to mix some orange into it, which is just red and yellow. Um, so that's how you get some of these neutral tones. And some of this blue is actually, it gets close to being saturated. Um, there's a nice blue back here. Still pretty neutral. More of a purple. Um, but it's all just value. N none of this is, let me, let me zoom into some of this painting here because it's actually a pretty big photo. This is 100% now. But you can see it's not super detailed. It may look like it's really detailed, but it's just an illusion. Um, there, it looks like he did a warm undertone on the whole entire painting, a really warm tone, and then painted over that. So some of the warmth here peeks through, which gives some nice warmth underneath. Um, also with the waves he was using reflectant with uh, he was reflecting um, a little bit so you can see the dark 
bit of the the wave here or the water is reflecting this dark color of the boat for the most part and you see that as well um, the light clouds back here reflected down all the whites are kind of reflected downward um, so there's not that much detail going on here it may look like it but it's just simple brush strokes and and these little the skim on the waves here you know the little patterns you see are just um, they're just a little bit lighter than the water so it, it comes across as realistic so that when I back this painting out you know it, it comes together it looks realistic um, so it's all just getting the value here and getting the light correct and refle using reflections a little bit of dark here and over here um, just to, to balance out this this boat um, that's another thing I want to talk about is the value structure now here's the black and white of the painting and you can definitely see what is the focus of this painting you can see the darkest dark here is on this boat right in the front and a little bit under the sails and the lightest light is right next to it basically so you have this high contrast with this boat and um, so that's the focal point that's where they first want you to look um, there's little bits of dark in the waves here kind of just balance everything out and up here as well in the sky um, and then you can see the the clouds get brighter and brighter as it gets towards the ship and that's where the most of the contrast is and we can see that in the color as well but that's that's the focal point and you can also see with the sails here these sails are more gold and more yellow than on the other ships the other ships are just secondary and a little bit of red here on this on this top sail is not really red it's it's this light reddish brown tone you can see in on the other boat on the top it's actually even more neutral so he doesn't want this boat to stand out as much it's actually a light brown and this one's a little bit stronger red let me zoom in on that so you guys can see that so you can just tell this boat is more colorful the reds here are stronger and then back here it gets more neutral more toned down so it's a secondary element within this painting this boat is what is the main focal point um, and these waves here um, and just has a nice little pattern that leads you right in this bright kind of just leads you right into this boat and the the reflections coming down um, but the dark here I, I believe also balances things out um, that's what I'm seeing anyway and you can see the composition here the boats a little bit off center which is is good I like that um, you know leading you to these other boats so it's a it's an interesting painting pretty realistic um, as far as the style goes uh, you don't really see any brush strokes for the most part so it's not a very um, painterly kind of style it's a more realistic approach but he knows how to use the paint you can see here it's not very he didn't take a lot of time on this little wave and peak back here because there's no need that's not even a focal point so you can tell he didn't take a lot of time uh, you know working with these waves he made them look realistic gave some nice shapes but he didn't spend hours and hours I mean maybe he did but it doesn't look like he spent a, a you know days and days painting these waves he just threw these in here made it look realistic some nice shapes um, you can see back here little little puffs of clouds almost Disney like very cartoonish but from far away I mean it looks realistic this boat is where he spent the most time all the little lines here he, he adds detail where it needs to be and that's the important thing so as you can see when you get farther back it's not as detailed he didn't spend as much time this one there's a little bit of detail here um, but you know there, there's not it's not super detailed not super or super painterly so it just has this nice balance to where the whole painting looks realistic you know just some cloud shapes kept it all flat back here in the background 
There's a little bit more going on over here, but that's where there's more contrast. And here he kept it really soft. There's some suggestion of boats in the background. See, it, it's just keeping that detail where it needs to be and the, and the amount of detail, um, not overdoing it in the foreground, not overdoing it in the background, um, and not underdoing it as well. He didn't underdo the boats or anything like that. It's just a nice level of balance and a nice color palette that's all neutral and very, um, you know, if he would have used a bright red here, see, I, I have another layer where I bumped up the saturation and you can see it just doesn't work as well. It's, it's too, there, there's too much shouting. So when you neutralize this, it kind of creates the tone and the emotion of what's going on here. It looks like some battling boats. Um, you know, cloudy seas, uh, stormy waves, stormy clouds. So, but there is some warmth going on, attracting the eye here. Some warmth in the waves, etc. So it's it's not a completely gloomy scene, but there is some some blue sky peeking through. So, you know, if if he would have made this red suit you know a bright bright red it just wouldn't have worked with the rest of the painting or if you would have made these sails a lot more yellow you know the whole painting as you have to see the painting as a whole and that's what he did it, everything's very neutral so if i if i were to sample if you take if you take a look in the top right here you'll see that most of the colors if this shows up in the video are going to be uh neutral see as as i drag across here you can see Nothing is ever all the way to the right. Nothing is fully saturated. You know, every everything is off to the left, very gray or down the middle, very neutral. So he knew he knew what he was doing. Um, so by using these complementary colors and mixing and creating these nice gray tones and then adding color to it um, or graying down colors that creates a more realistic image because when you look out in nature things aren't as saturated as you may believe and um, so yeah I enjoy this painting and um, hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it hope it broke things down just a little bit and um, you know j just with the color scheme and the, and the overall what he had to do to create this painting and you know maybe he did some glazing but I, you know, I don't think glazing is needed to achieve some of these waves and the transparent look that some of these get. Um, when you take a close look at it, it, it's just blending, starting out with the dark tone and then blending up to these blues and then blending up to the grays and then layering over that um, the lighter colors to create these these patterns. And that's all it is. That's all there is to it. Um, and, and some of the undertones showing through and it's a warm under warm warm orange so with this blue it really makes it vibrate it's really it really becomes a vibrant uh, water scene and it also helps reflect some of the boat in there you can see there's it just gives that color um, so anyway hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, until the next video, thank you for watching. Peace.